Welcome! In front of me is an Asus Zenfone 9 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now in a second you should be able to see that the phone I have right here is locked and there we go. And one of the ways to verify this the actual way would be to draw the previously used pattern or by signing in with the previously used Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those, I'm just going to show you how you can get rid of it. So, to get started, we're going to back out to the first page if you haven't done so. So, if you're starting from here, I want to progress just a little bit through the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. Select the network that you want to connect to. I have already done so, as you can see. And then back out again to the first page. From here, you will select Readability. Or Readability? Yep, Readability. And then select Talkback and enable it right over here. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to talk back. I love the casual accent change right there, but as you can see, you can mute this if it annoys you, or at least turn it down super low so it's not as obnoxious. I like to personally do this just because it, it's a little bit distracting to me. If it's not bothering you, you can keep it at the volume that it comes at it. But once you have this page open right here, you want to draw a mirrored L on the screen in that green box. It's kind of like this. So let me do that right now. It didn't really work. There we go. So once you draw this, it will bring up a window right here. So double tap on the first option that is already selected and then single tap the use voice commands. Now before we double tap on it to confirm it, I'm going to quickly go into what we need to say because it is a little bit time sensitive, if I can call it that way. So, let's see. You're going to first say open Google Assistant. This will then open up the Google Assistant and that will start listening to you. And you want to follow up by say, saying open YouTube. Now there should be some kind of like auditory cues so you know when you need to say it. If not, if you don't have any auditory cues, you usually also have some visual ones like a green dot that shows up somewhere here. But I guess we'll see how it's visible in general when I actually start doing this. So can I now do it? And you can watch along and just see how it's done. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So you hear, you could hear three different uh, beeps. One to act, that one that basically starts listening to me when I say, or once that, on the once that happens, you want to say Open Google Assistant. Then you have a different beep that signifies that the command was accepted. And then another one, a third one, that Google Assistant is now listening to you. And once you op say open YouTube, it obviously opens up YouTube. So anyway, from here, uh, you want to now hold volume up and down at the same time. Press and hold both volume keys for three seconds. Select turn on. Talk back. And hold those two keys once more. And now we can use display normally. So, from here, you will select the account icon. Then you're going to navigate into settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. Select accept and continue, and no thanks. Once the browser opens up, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. I'm going to write it down myself, and if you need a moment to copy it yourself, do pause the video. Now would be the time to pause. From here, you want to navigate down to settings. Click on it. This will open up the phone's settings page. And we're gonna start off by navigating to apps and notifications. Then you wanna select see all 40 apps and Tap on it three dots and also select show system. 
once we see the system applications uh, you want to select Android setup so there is one it looks like there's only one so just select it here you want to choose force stop and okay then go back once and you want to now scroll down to Google Play services I believe So there we go, Google Play services. As you can see, uh, it's a little bit like half past, past half the point, like list. Anyway, once you click on the Google Play services, there we go, services, you want to select a disable, disable app, and also for a stop. Now that this, these two apps have been turned off, we will now back out to the the beginning of the setup I also recommend muting it just because our play services are turned off uh, the phone will start spamming it that it cannot access the Google Play services so yeah I would recommend just to mute it mute it so it's not as annoying and here we're just gonna progress through the setup And right now, you want to skip through everything that you can. Now oh, normally this shouldn't show up. Normally we should see the home screen, but for some reason, as you can see, I don't really see a home screen. Uh, it's prompting us to turn on Google Play services, which is not really what we want to do. So I will try to progress further and I guess we'll see if that actually works. Uh, assuming the phone thinks things that we are right now on the home screen um, then I would navigate into settings and perform a factory reset now if you see the home screen that's great um, I'm gonna assume that for you it went the correct way like it did for me so assuming you can see the home screen you want to open up settings now I'm already in the settings and I can't really back out of it so I'm gonna progress further by going into the system and then you want to select reset options erase all data erase all data and do that once again and this should start a factory reset of the device which is something that you do want to perform now as you've seen for me it didn't boot up into the home screen so i am uncertain if this will actually work probably if it doesn't then uh you're most likely not seeing this video and i'm talking to myself but if it worked for me uh, then obviously it should work for you as well Okay, so you can see factory reset has now finished, which was really quick. And I don't see any lock icon, so hope, hopefully this worked. Now I did skip connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, if the device is actually locked, I think it will just tell me to uh, reconnect to it.
Yep, so it worked just fine. So there we go. As you can see now we're on a home screen, at least I am now on a home screen. And that is basically how you'd bypass the Google verification on the brand new Zenfone. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.